Hey there, I'm Robert Kennedy the third RK3, that's me, and you're here because you might be using Zoom to help you create an online training experience. That's right, I said experience, not another online session, because those online sessions are often quite boring. <laughs> so you want to help your attendees and your participants have an experience with you and you're using Zoom to do that. Now, one of the ways to create that experience or to help with that experience is by using music. I wanna share with you in this video how you can use music and even some places that you can get royalty-free music so that you can really up-level and enhance that experience for your attendees. Let's go. You've started your meeting and you want to bring them in with a bang or you've sent everybody to breakout groups and you want to transition and you want to transition them back to the main session but you still want to keep energy in the room and so you want to use music for that here's how you do that the first thing you need to do is get some royalty free music you can't just grab any song from the radio or from one of your CDs or from YouTube. You've got to use royalty-free music so you don't get in copyright trouble. Typically, with royalty-free music, you need to do what is known as attribution, which means that you give the site or the author or the composer credit for that music. So one of the sites that I like to use is a site called bensound.com. You see the title up here at the top, and I go to bensound.com, and there are all sorts of genres and music types here. For example, this first song, if I click on Summer, All right, there's some great music there. I can click on, this one says Creative Minds. Or if I wanna go by genre, let's say that I wanna go to the Urban Groove section and I'll choose something, I'll choose Funny Song. That doesn't sound very urban to me. Let's try Retro Soul. All right. <laughs> All right, so you've got a lot of different options there. Another site that you can go to is Purple Planet Music, and that's purple-planet.com, and there's a lot of stuff there to choose from. All right, really good stuff. You can go through some of the different, not only genres, but the moods and the feelings that you want. You can search there for that and you can come up with quite a bit that is going to meet your needs you can also go if you're on youtube you can also go to what is called the youtube audio library and download music there as well so you want to make sure that you visit the terms and conditions so that you can or learn more about the library so that you can figure out what it is that you need to do to be able to use this music in your zoom sessions or other videos now as you learn later you can play your music directly from the site because you'll be using system audio but i prefer to download the music so that i can have con control over which tracks i play when and also so i can control the volume I'm on a Mac, and so what I do is I download the files and I'll play them inside of my QuickTime player. And if you're on Windows or something else, you can use Windows Media or some other uh, audio music playing application. Yes, I'm losing my words. Anyway, so I play it here. I'll come here and I'll have my music. Right? And you can see that I can turn the volume up and down and I can control this and I can fade it in and out whenever I want to. Okay, so I've got several different songs here if I want to use those. Okay, all the way down to something more jazzy. Something more, you know, for my thought process or I'm giving them an activity and I want them to think a little bit. That's something a little bit more soothing. <sighs> All right. 
Once I've got my music set up, then I'll go into my Zoom session. I'll head down to the bottom where it says share screen. Once I click that, I will see that a dialog box pops up. I want to click advanced. And then I'm going to choose where it says music or computer sound only. Then I'm going to choose share. Now what's going to happen, any sound that I play from my computer is going to be heard by the participants. So I'll go back over to my QuickTime player or my music application and I'll start to play any of these songs. So if I want to open the session, let's say that I've got a waiting room, etc., I'll just kind of start this. And the music plays and I can talk over it if I want. I can change the volume. And when I'm ready to start my session, I'll fade the music out. Hey everybody, welcome to this session. I'm so glad you're with me today. Glad you're here. Let's get started. Let's rock and roll. All right, and then if I want to add another music, some music after that, then I can add some other stuff. All right, so pretty much that's it. When I'm done, I'll just click stop sharing. Now remember, you can't share your screen and that audio at the same time, unless, ooh -hoo -hoo, unless, unless you decide you're going to share a PowerPoint or a keynote or something of that nature, in which case I'll go to share screen and I'll, in this case, let me share my keynote file. But before I click share, I'm gonna go down to the bottom left of that dialog and choose share computer sound, then I'll, click on share and my file will be on screen or my uh, slides will be on screen, but I can still go over to my QuickTime player and play my audio. All right. Play something else. All right. Excellent. So that's it. That's how you use Zoom to open, close, and transition in your online sessions. Here's to you making your next session an experience. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. You'll see a lot more tips, tricks, and tutorials on communication and leadership and anything in between. Virtual leadership, virtual communication, virtual sessions, virtual experiences, all of that. I want you to just subscribe and take all this stuff in, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in another video. I'll see you in another experience real soon.